any of the themes that are about to happen in the lesson, then that becomes another question. Yeah. Oh, the orange thing is back. Oh, it's going to hit me in the back of the head. Are you throwing it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, that uh, that's interesting um, about all that and uh, sometimes uh, certainly with my teacher we often do a series of lessons so a lesson um, sorry a series so a series of go, lessons yeah so they go together um, do you so I understand about you know people coming into the room yep. and whatever. do you sometimes and I can't remember whether we talked about this on the long list but do we sometimes might you use a create a scan that fits almost like, you know, as we saw last episode. <laughs> yes. Just, I mean, in a sense, to bring people back to, like, tune a little bit in around what the theme of the... Yeah, absolutely. So, so. so then your scan doesn't become about a lesson, but the series. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So, so then that, that kind of um, mm, blends a little bit into... And it's interesting when we were discussing as well, blends a little bit into it's not a reference movement, is it? But it's a little bit, it has kind of a little bit of a flavor of a reference movement. Yes, it does. It as well. It's a reference movement for the attention. Mm. Does it make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, without you having, well, not necessarily without, but it's, a, it's, a, it's an attentional tuning, if you like. Mm. Um, so, so uh, uh, an example off the top of my head, uh, for, that scan, uh, for that lesson, because there's so much drawing in of the abdomen, and if I happen to have a group of people who I've talked with prior to the lesson and I realise none of them really know their anatomy really well or don't even have an idea, then the scan could be, um, where is your abdomen? Where does it start? Where does it stop? Put your hand down near your pubic bone. Is that your abdomen? Put your hand down near the back of your waist. Is that your abdomen? So you can see, you can tune them in like that, right? Or whatever. So it could be an anatomical tune, but it could be a tune to the whole series, which is a reminder. What is this series about? Let's get back into the swing of it. Yeah. So scans can take on all sorts of different flavors. And uh, that's why I pose the notion of fit. And there's so many ways that a scan can fit a lesson. And you heard, so your scan was very much about the personal aspect, acknowledging yourself as the sensor, the person who's aware, and each one of you had a different quality. So you can see what aspect of the lesson are you going to choose to fit on? The movement aspect, the attentional aspect, the person who's doing the lesson aspect, that they're an agent and they're themselves lying on the floor. So it's quite open. Anything, any questions arising out of that? What you, what you learn is that each one of you has a different way of introducing a lesson using a scan. And so as you listen to each other over the coming years, giving scans, teaching lessons, that's where you're going to do a lot of your learning from. You'll get some ideas of scans from the transcripts. You'll get some ideas of scans from listening to Moshe teach. You get a lot of ideas for scans from the second generation. Oh, sorry, the first, first, second generation on. Because scans are very often included in their recorded lessons. Yeah, so it's, it's not a necessarily a voyage of individual discovery. It can be much, very much a, a voyage of uh, co-discovery. The second, uh, the second part on the, on the board, is that, is that clear what I'm... Trying to get to? Yeah. Was that a shake of the head, Julie? Actually, I don't know what to read. Oh, okay. You want me to read it out? Yeah, uh, so you can write it out? Yeah. Okay. Should I read it at a certain speed? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So part two is. Hmm? Pardon? As a, 
Okay, woo, that's gone past my head. So part two is uh, uh, think of the orientations of the body relative to gravity in the lesson. Think of the torso limb configurations that were used in the lesson. Think of the contact between you and the floor in, that were used in the lesson. And ask yourself for each of those this, what, this question, what differences, what difference did this create in your experience of doing your intention? I like the word enacting, but that's just me. Yeah. So you don't even have to think of the design of the lesson because I've, kind of, I've kind of painted for you a really fundamental design of a lesson, any lesson. Change the orientation of the body to gravity, change the uh, limb configuration, change the contact between the floor, and they're like really basic ingredients. What I'm asking for is what difference did it make to you in this whole business of exhaling and drawing in of the abdomen? Was there a commonality of experiences? And that's where you get to talk with your partner and share your experiences, okay? And I won't be getting you to teach anything, so it's no surprises, no ambushes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. If you can't recall, just put yourself into the position or into the orientation. Yeah? You'll quickly discover what the experience is. <laughs> 